We have been reporting on the killing of Stephanie Flores in South America, watching as the clues keep coming in. Our Rafael Romo is here now with the latest from the Peruvian capital where suspect Joran van der Sloot is being held. Hello, Rafael. It's been wonderful working with you. I guess this is our last night. <laughs> it's all Very over. Very funny. Okay, let me explain to our viewers what Ivan means that he's saying goodbye. Before we say goodbye, we want to mention this news story. Others are also saying goodbye right now by Ivan, and they really mean it. Here's the deal. A California pastor, Harold Camping is his name, says he's done the math from the Bible and determined that today, Saturday, May 21st, at 6 p.m. in every time zone, the world will end. If the pastor is right, you only have a few hours left. I went ahead and ate the newsroom pizza. Uh, several slices I usually pass on it, but what the heck. The end of the world seems like a newsworthy event, so CNN.com has extensive coverage. Backstory is next, but first I'll be back with the headlines, unless, of course, the rapture happens during the break. Oh, goodbye. Hello, I'm Natalie Allen and welcome to Forecast Earth, where in this show we focus on green innovators, those folks helping the environment and making money at it. We're just putting on the label at this station and then once this is done, it goes right out to a store. Green innovator. And these bags are some of the latest TerraCycle products made from consumer product boxes like cookies and juice pouches. Here's a backpack and a pencil holder. The process of taking waste materials and making them into new products is called upcycling. And according to Zaki, there's no waste that can't be upcycled and no product that can't be made from upcycling. Coming up on Forecast Earth, environmental changes can create monumental challenges. The sea level rises. Tornadoes are incredibly destructive. Drought was the catalyst. Learn how we adapt to a changing planet. A changing environment can change the job landscape. Save the polar bears and pookie too. Meet a man who believes green jobs are the way to fight poverty and pollution. And still another challenge to our environment is what to do with all our trash. You'd be surprised how much we throw away. Hear tips from our outdoor expert on how to recycle and reuse. Discover our climate challenges and learn how we can meet and solve them now on Forecast Earth. Hello and welcome to Forecast Earth. I'm Natalie Allen. At no time in history have we been in a better position to predict and plan for the future in terms of climate change. So from my point of view, we should be leading the march. You know, hey, you know, save the polar bears and pookie too, you know? <laughs> <laughs> for Jones, those green collar job opportunities are not only important for those in the Bay Area, but for disadvantaged men and women nationwide. Jones hopes to raise $1 billion for green collar jobs by 2012. He's got a long way to go, and so far, very few of the poor are making a green paycheck, but he's not giving up the fight. A lot of folks affected by this one, millions. Atlantic City is one of several New Jersey communities under a mandatory evacuation order. Jason Carroll is there for us. Back to you. So a lot of people that could be seeing danger, keeping their sense of humor, perhaps those ladies will get their own reality show. Could be a hit. Irene has lashed our reporters with wind and rain all day long, but one budding eye reporter sent us her account of the storm approaching in Pennsylvania. Jane Harbick here reporting from Doylestown, Pennsylvania. The rain is coming down more than it was before, and that's about it. Back to you. Thank you, Jane, for that report. <laughs> Five-year-old Jane Halbrick from Doylestown, Pennsylvania, dressed in pink. Send us your resume. Good job.